Hey y'all, it's Kathy Jo. How are you guys doing today? So, I think I have, yeah, I have four DIYs for y'all today, but a couple of them comes in sets of twos. But anyway, the reason I haven't been doing the um, introduction is, one, my craft room is a disaster area. It looks like a tornado went off down here, and I do now look like Sanford and Son. Two, look at that. Right there and there and there. I'm getting old. I haven't done my hair. I've been lazy. So anyway, how y'all been? I appreciate y'all. And I hope y'all enjoy the video. And um, if YouTube recommended my video, uh, I'd like for you to stick around. Stay a while to all my subscribers. Psh, 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 bam. You all the people. I love y'all. Love you to death. Um... I'm going to try to start getting out more videos. Uh, I got so many ideas. I got so many things going on. And usually I try to do like uh, videos. Like everything matches. Everything is, is all together and stuff. And I just got so many things. And so many things got deleted. That um, I couldn't get them in groups. Uh, or things I couldn't fit in other videos. Because it's too long. How's this? Because they were too long. There we go. Well, that didn't cover up the gray. Anyway, because they were too long. So, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, um, I really appreciate y'all. Uh, you mean the world to me. And um, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Share with your friends. And I um, only have one thing left to say. I don't know what's with me. I don't, think I, I don't even know what's wrong with this introduction. Uh, I don't know, guys. I just totally forgot what I was doing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know. So, let's get on with the video. I think I need to have a tooth clean. Hey, y'all. So, right here, I have um two pieces of a 9-inch, 1-by-6 um, board. I cut them. Um, Did I say 9 inches long? 1-by-6? <laughs> Yeah, and um, I'd lost the footage to it. I'd painted those big ones fawn, and I painted in Waverly chalk paint, and I painted the small, the noses red. And um, I'm just taking some black paint there, chalk paint there, and um, painting their little eyes. I'm gonna tell you why. This is the third time I've tried to do this because earlier my dog was a crying. Mom, 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 and I thought my husband was upstairs clogging again, river dancing, and I'm like, oh, heavenly days. So, anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, this was supposed to go with the reindeer stuff that I did last week, but I just couldn't fit it in, just so much going on. Anyway, so, I'm just taking some hot glue. I'm sorry, I painted those, I painted them, I cut it, cut it, I can't talk, I cut them like two inches long, so this all came from the one by six, and I took a piece, cut it uh, two inches, then I cut that in half. So I'm taking my Waverly White chalk paint there, and uh, yeah, putting white in its eyes. And this was a Pinterest inspired um, project. Normally, I try to come up with my own stuff and my in my own mind um anyway so i got um nautical rope and nautical rope <laughs> I got one white one brown and i'm just gonna make it a little hat yeah so just take it round and round oh my goodness peace and quiet i feel like my ears are ringing i wish y'all could have heard the last one. Oh, good gravy anyway I'm making a boy and a girl, and I don't know why I do that. I just do. In my mind, I mean, I guess they could both be boys or both be girls, but I'm like a six-year-old when it comes to that. Well, Gracie and Addison and Madison and Jace and Brayden will probably like them. <laughs> Did I say Brace, Jace, Braden? I don't know. Hey, on my little children fans. So here I got some felt, of course. 
and I just like to torture myself. And anyway, I'm going to be drawing some ears. I got chill bumps there from that stuff. And I had gloves right beside me, but because this place looks like a junkyard or a rummage sale, flea market, looks like a flea market down here. Um, anyway, I forgot that I had them. Just going to cut this little ear out. And I traced that one and made another one. But then after that, I just winged it. I just said, well, no, can't do this. Because I was trying to hold it down with a rubber spatula and trace it out. And it was just way too difficult. But here in a minute, you'll see I get some sense to me. And I figure something out. I think I've told you, I should show you, I ordered some of those rubber fingers. Oh, well, anyway, cut out four of them. And I got me some of that burlap there. Burlap there. Thur, thur, thur. I just fold it over. And again, I'm just going to wing it. Just going to cut it out and try to make them fit my little ears on the inside. These things are so cute. I hope y'all like them as much as I do. Um... My husband, generally, he likes, you know, the things I do and stuff like that. And he always says it's nice and that's pretty. But these he really, really liked. So I hope y'all do. So I just took that fine tip glue gun and glued that burlap in. See, I got those rubber fingers on. And you glue that in there and you pinch that together and you make its little ears. And then you glue it on top. I should have painted the bags. I like my stuff finished. That's why I sand the tour out of those, um... Dollar Tree sign, so the back will be the same. Got me some little pom-poms. Put a white one on one, a red one on the other one. She got red, he got white. So I got me a pink wear and some pop cleaners. And I'm just going to wrap it around and make its little antlers. I'm going to show you here, right here. <laughs> I'm going to show you here, right here. Um, Keep that part kind of flat. And they ain't going to go nowhere by the time this is done. You'll see. And glue its little antlers down. So, I'm taking the nautical rope again. And I'm going to untwist it. Because I'm going to make it some hair. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? They're just adorable. They make me smile. And I don't know why. I do do hope y'all like these as much as I do. I can't help it. I mean, if you make something and look at it and it just makes you smile. I think that's a good thing. So... I'm just um, putting some hot glue down and cramming that uh, doo -doo, nautical rope, little pieces of it for its little hair under her little hat. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just think they're adorable. <laughs> oh, to each his own, I guess. But anyway, um, I just love them. They're just so silly looking, just so cute. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, goodness. Anyway, I kind of added my own twist to, um, to them. But anyway, except the nose. I copied the nose. I kind of wish I would have did different. If if y'all decide to make this, um, put the nose holes lower and then arch the um, line to the nose up over that a little bit. But anyway, I got that word, word. Bird, burlap from the Dollar Tree, and um, I cut it not in half, but I cut it to be a little bit bigger than ribbon. So I got that ticking ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna paint it around his neck. I know that's not really a neck, but it's a neck to me. So anyway, look, <laughs> look at him. It's so cute, and I gave him a little jingle bell. And I took that pretty lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I like that stuff. Everybody was using it forever, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So when I found it, I got some. I haven't seen it since then. haven't been able to find it. But anyway, I'm going to paint those backs later. Oh, no. Anyway. So, look. <laughs> and I gave her a little jingle bell. <laughs> look how... And I took that ribbon and made her little bow and put it up there in her hair. <laughs> With those big ears and stuff. Look how cute that is. 
look at them. Aren't they absolutely adorable? <laughs> I don't know why. I just think they're so cute. I mean, some people may not, but you know, to me, <laughs> they just make me smile. Okay. Anyway, so right here, I got two of those boxes or shadow boxes from the Dollar Tree. Now, it took me forever to get the back off of those. I'm telling you, I deleted a lot of me trying to get the back off those. Um, I picked one up at Dollar Tree, and the back wasn't on it, and it was hanging off, and I was like, that one's broke. I don't want it. Should have kept it. So this first one I'm going to show you is the wrong way to do it. The second one I'm going to show you is the right way to do it. So those are some gift boxes from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use those. Of course. So I trace out the back. And I hated the ugly green. That just green. So I thought, oh, I'll just flip it around. And we'll just, so the white will show. Not that ugly green. I won't have to worry about it. Got me some faux snow. The shiny, pretty kind. And I took some of them little uh, faux balls. I'm gluing that there. The little teeny tiny styrofoam balls. And mixed it with my faux snow. Just use a glue stick, it stuck to it fine. And I'm putting glue down here now. I was like, this is going to be a breeze. I'm smarter than the box. Well, apparently I'm not. So, I tried to stick it in there with that glue. I should have tore the hanger off first and didn't. So, I dumped my snow in there. And then it just looks ugly. The back just looked ugly and was driving me crazy so see that's pretty there isn't that pretty so i got my waverly white chalk paint and i drop it on the table and i decided to paint the back of it. i painted it three times and i got that berry garland i got red and gold and i'm just gonna twist them around and make a little hanger yeah And I took some duct tape that was white and hot glue. And I thought, well, you won't be able to see it as bad. So that'd be cool. Plus, I couldn't find my my other thing. And then look. Then I realized, what did I do? It's upside down. So don't do that. So I had to rip that off. Take the electrical tape because I was lazy. And just cover up the ugly. Yeah. So I made a little bow. Out of that uh, gold, that gold, red ribbon, and I put some of that white fern and a little acorn. Not an acorn, shoot. A pine cone. I'm going to quit using pine cone. This is the right way. You put it in there. Then you put glue in that in the cracks, and you hold it up together real tight. So you can get it back in. See, went back in there like it was nothing. Yep. And then put glue around the edges. Yep. I let the box out smart me on the first one not the second one so i take that berry garland and i take the white and the gold i use two strands of white and one strand of gold and i twist them all around together that like I, this is my third or fourth time i don't even know now cause I'm, I'm so confused doing this so i just glued that down i didn't put no tape because the thing's so light it's gonna hang so i got my pine pick air um that's um flocked and I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to put some of that white fern. I think that is beautiful. Put it down. Y'all, I have so many crafts. Then I take the Grow Gain ribbon that is green and glittery and glue it on there. And then I put a little jingle bell on it. And I think these are very, very pretty. In my opinion. But you know what they say about opinions. Look how cute that is. Tis the season. Merry Christmas. I think they're absolutely adorable. Look, you get like five of those boxes for one dollar and they are doing they got a ton of stuff happy holiday different patterns you all need to check those out i just got that corner cabinet it's empty and ain't 
filled up yet. So I take and use pieces of that gift box that's left over there. And I cut like a, a long half a oval shape. But it's wide. I can't describe the shape. Y'all just gonna have to see here in a minute. Yeah. So I take that metallic silver paint from Walmart. And it's made by Folk Art. And I'm painting front. You can't hardly see it. And trust me, I got lights blaring. I mean, I sweat to death sometimes down here. Um... <laughs> oh, I'm still here. Anyway, you can't. I was looking. You can't. Then I took elephant and I painted the back of them. I think it took two or three coats to cover up that cardboard. But I tell you what, it ended up being good and stiff, and it ain't going nowhere. So I kind of want to do galvanized, but not really galvanized. I want to kind of make it look like an old, just beat up, like shovel. Yeah. And then I take some white and go over it. Because we're going to have some snow on it. And you, when you use the, ga use, the, use the galvanize, I use white anyway. But I went heavier because of the snow. Now you know. So let's go. Watch the video. I'm trying to be like Dr. Seuss. I added more of the silverback. Silverback gorilla. I know what I'm doing. I just painted it till I locked it. Now, this I saw at Walmart, but I took burnt umber. That's apple barrel from Walmart. And I went around the edges of it. Um, Walmart had these little shovels that looked... Mine's not exact, but I just thought that's cute. And I saw them, and I was like, well, I can make that. So I got me some sticks from my yard and I'm gonna glue it to the back of my cardboard there I'm telling you that cardboard is stiff now all that paint and the glue and all that stuff and like I said I made one bigger and one smaller these are ornaments for your Christmas tree and now I'm just cutting the little sticks for the handles of them Yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm never going to get this video loaded because I've been at this for over an hour trying to get the voiceover done. So, I, I after I add the little stick there to the top, I'm going to cut smaller pieces and put them at an angle. See? See there? <laughs> Couple of them flew away. You might want to put your hand over when you're cutting it. And I used a lot of glue. But you can't really see it. See? I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh, getting more stick. <laughs> and I use my wire cutters to cut it. And, and cut it good. Maybe I should have left this part out. I have a bad habit of leaving long, boring parts in and taking out the more. I just, it's very detailed. And I just wanted to show y'all and let y'all see every little bitty piece of it. And, um, 
Yeah, when I was doing the voiceover earlier and done it again and done it again and done it again, I kind of just got like brain dead here. I'm just like, Durr. So I got me some Epsom salt there, and I'm going to put some hot glue on it um, because I want to make it look like there was snow on it. What I should have done is mixed that pretty glittery snow with it because these are a bit dark. kind of wish I'd done something to make them lighter. Maybe painted the sticks white or something like that. Like I said, put that glittery snow and the Epsom salt together. So I got those little berries off the pick because at Walmart they had little teeny tiny, um, uh, not cotton balls, um, little teeny tiny, um, pom-poms glued on. And I thought I'll just take these off the pick and put them on there. So I got those letters from, letters, words from Dollar Tree, um, because they had Mary on theirs, I believe. And I have two, one Mary there, but I use Joy on the small one and Bright on the big one. So there's my jute twine, and I'm going in and just going to wrap it around. Like I said, there again, to stabilize that better, and plus I'm going to make the hanger. And it makes it look like just, I don't know, farmhouse. Just an older-looking little ornament i just think they're cute they're adorable well obviously i like them or i wouldn't have made them y'all i have so much stuff and i wish i could put out a video every day because i have so much stuff it is crazy so i'm just tying it around there tighten it up stabilize it and then and then, I made my little hanger. I don't know what I was doing there with my finger. Oh, took a little, uh, that Grogan, Grogan, uh, oh my gee whiz, I've said it four times, I don't know, ribbon from the Dollar Tree and made little bows for it. Oh, what is the name of that? Uh... It's not my place. Well, there they are. I'm so sorry it is so dark. But when I had the, the light on, it was reflecting, and I didn't have a tree to put them on yet. I have a tree there. I thought you could see them better. Okay, now I got me two of those little candy cane wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take white nautical rope. I need to let y'all know, I bought a box of that when it first came out because I knew I'd never find it. So, anyway, well, I'm getting down to the last of it, so I'm going to save a lot of it here. So, I just did a dab of glue air on that tape, and I'm just going to wrap and 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 wrap. <laughs> um, I don't know if y'all know um, Wendy from White Sparrow Living, but if y'all don't, She's close to 100000 Y'all should check her out. So I'm just going to tie that there and shove it down in there. That way I won't have to glue it. And then just start wrapping again, and you can't even tell. And it's stuck together, and it's hanging up there on my wall. And it's doing good. My daughters buy me, mainly my, my daughter buys me all these big old shirts. I like to wear them to sleep in and craft in and stuff like that. And they're all always funny. <laughs> I love that. I bought the same one for my dad. Anyway, so, there at the end, it took like three, I'm so sorry, three and um, that little tiny bit maybe a fourth, I don't even know, to finish it off. I'm so sorry. Um, and I tied that cotton twine to it so it wouldn't unravel. And it's hard on that arch. It just, I couldn't get it right. I tried everything in my power. And I was going to cover it with something anyway, but ended up having to cover it more than I wanted to. So there at the end, I just tucked that in there after I got it all tied up. And ba bam, there it is. So I got that. I love that. That is so pretty. 
that came from Walmart. Um, it's Christmas season, not, um, not fall. And I think that does look real farmhouse. I think it just looks nice and old. Now this thing gets pretty. That's how I got to cover up my gaps there. See how that does? Right there in that corner. Or corner. In the loop. Uh, the arch. There we go. Make sure I get it covered up. So I did glue this. But that'll be fine. Now, because the candy can't hear you, see, I just fold it over and glue it and then glue it to the thing. Now, because they both go one di the same direction, um, <laughs> direction, <laughs> um, I wanted them to crisscross. And I'm like, dude, and then I pit that was puckered and I pinched it and then I ended up pulling the other glue part loose. Gee whiz. Y'all even know what I'm talking about half the time. I, I don't. I know what I mean, but if y'all can't understand me, I'm just like, what am I doing here? Anyway, so, you have to do it backwards. And that confused me for a minute because the tucking, and which is good because that's flat and it lays together better, but when it came time to do that part, it took me a minute to get it. So you got to push it through the middle there. See the middle, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, the, the middle part. And then shove, if you tie your knot together, shove it down in there. And then you can just keep going. That's the reason I showed you this one because you have to do it a bit different. The other one's a lot easier to do. Because we're using the flat side, it has to be handled differently. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd just say, yeah, I did two of them. And I wanted y'all to see that. I thought I cut that out, but anyway. You know me. If you enjoy the video, y'all, please like. It makes um, YouTube uh, notice me. And I'm trying to get this channel to grow. And all because I have hit 600 subscribers, I am going to be doing another giveaway. Yep, yep, yep. I passed 600, so here we go again, ladies and gents. I just got the one clip taken care of. They sent it back to me, all this corona stuff. First, they didn't want me to let me mail it out at all. And then I packaged it and sent it, and the post office called me, and I had to go back to get it, and it had to be in a plastic bag, and oh, my gosh, what a disaster. Anyway, so wrap that same ribbon around it, and... Aren't they pretty? I think that is just, that is just country to me. So, I just took the rest of that uh, nautical rope that was left over, and I tied it in a knot. Then I tied a knot at the top. That's how I'm going to hang it. So, I wouldn't have to glue them together. And there we go. That's easy enough. And I took that white fern. Here you see my son-in-law's hand, and when I was down there, I'd been working on it for a while, putting us 80 different ways and 70 different ribbons, and I just asked his opinion what he thought. So he's telling me, see? <laughs> so if y'all don't like it, blame him. So anyway, I took those red berries and that white fern, and I tied that all together, and then I did glue that on. And here it all is, y'all. Here's the final reveal of everything. I think it's just adorable. My little reindeer there. If y'all have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I try to I try to stay on those. Sometimes I don't get them. Sometimes they don't show up and then like a month later I'll get a 
comment from aren't the and I think that is just cute as can be. I do. I haven't seen anybody use two together, but that don't mean they have it now. I'm just saying I haven't seen anybody. And my little boxes I struggle with, and there's my little, I'm so sorry it's so dark. My little um, Christmas ornaments. I love y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I bless that.